Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to deploy software using group policy in Windows Server 2022. Group policy enables you to deploy required user software when the computer starts, when the user logs on or on demand based on file associations. From the user's perspective, applications are available and functional when they need them. From the administrator's perspective, the applications for each user do not need to be installed manually. Windows Server 2022 uses the Windows installer with group policy to install and manage software that is packaged into Microsoft installer files with an .msi extension. Before deploying software using group policy, you must create a distribution share. The shared folder, also called a software distribution point, is a network location from which users can download the software that they need. The shared folder contains any related package files and all the application files that are required for installation. Each application that you want to install should have a separate subfolder in the parent shared folder. Windows installer uses this directory to locate and copy files to the workstation. Users who receive the group policy assignment must have the NTFS allow read permission to the folder containing the application and package files. After you create a software distribution point, you must create a GPO to include the software installation settings. As part of configuring a GPO for software installation, you need to decide whether to use the Assign or Publish option for deploying the application. The Assign option is helpful when you are deploying required applications to the right users and computers. The Publish option enables users to install the applications that they consider useful to them. If you use the Assign option, you must also decide whether you will assign the application to a computer or user account. When you assign an application to a user, the application is advertised on the start menu of the user's workstation. The actual installation is triggered when the user attempts to access it. This enables the software to be installed on demand. For example, if you need the sales department to have all users running Microsoft Excel to complete their daily sales reports, you can create group policy object, modify its settings to include the assignment of the Excel package file and link it to the sales OU. When a user in the sales OU logs on, Windows installer adds Excel as a selection on the user's start menu and changes the registry to associate Excel as X files with Excel. When the user attempts to access the program for the first time using the Start menu selection, or when the user tries to open an XLSX file, the installation process begins. The process of assigning an application using the computer configuration is somewhat different than assign it within the user configuration node. When you use the computer configuration node, the systems install the application during startup. This method is safe because there are only a few processes competing for resource utilization and no other applications running that could cause conflicts. In this example, we will deploy Google Chrome to computers using the group policy object. For this demo, we have two virtual machines running in Oracle VirtualBox. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller. We have another domain join Windows 10 VM. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. First, create a network share to store the MSI installer package file. Open File Explorer. On a C drive, create a folder and give a meaningful name. In this example, I have given name Software Point. Right click the folder and select Properties. Go to Sharing tab and click on Advanced Sharing. Check the box to share this folder. You can hide the shared folder by putting a dollar sign at the end of the share name. 
click on permissions remove everyone and click on add click on check names and add authenticated users group click ok authenticated users group include all domain users who have logged in with a username and password it does also include computer accounts make sure authenticated users group has read permission on this shared folder click on apply and ok again click on apply and ok copy the network path and click ok to close the window the shared folder configuration is complete now we have to copy the msi installer file to the folder we just created i have already downloaded the google chrome msi file from their official website link to download the google chrome msi file is given in the description area click on downloads copy the google chrome msi file click on this pc double click on a c drive go to software point folder and paste the file under the software distribution shared folder which we have just created next configure the gpu settings for software deployment to computers from the server managers tool menu click on group policy management to open group policy management console right click the group policy objects node and select new in the new gpu dialog box enter a friendly name for the new gpu for example software deployment google chrome if you want to use the starting gpu as a source of parameters select it in the source starter gpu list when you click okay a new gpu is added to the group policy objects container right click the newly created gpu and select add it in the group policy management editor window navigate to computer configuration policies and click on software settings now click on software installations right click the software installation and then select properties here type the unc path to the software distribution point for the dot msi package in the default package location box earlier we have copied the unc path of our software distribution point let me paste here remember this is a hidden shared folder and that's why we have dollar at the end of the shared folder name on general tab we have some other options generally we use this option to specify that the deploy software dialog box should appear when you add new packages to the gpu enabling you to choose whether to assign publish or configure package properties this is the default setting and we will keep it selected use basic option to provide only basic display for users during all package installation for example a progress bar and any applicable error messages use maximum option to provide all installation messages and screens for users during the installation of all packages there are other options but we are not going to discuss it click on apply and okay to save the changes to create a new software installation package right click the software installation node and from the context menu select new and click on package since we have already provided software distribution points unc path and that path is visible here now we just have to select the msi package which we want to deploy in this example we will select google chrome msi package remember it won't work if you provide the local path to the msi file you have to specify the shared folders path in this example we have selected google chrome msi file from our software distribution point now click on open to add this package on the deploy software screen published option is gray out as that option can only be used when deploying software to users make sure assigned option is selected and then click on okay the assigned option will ensure that the software will be installed automatically while the computer is starting up you have to wait for a few seconds for the package to display here you can see the source path and deployment method of the software with the version information right click the software and select properties 
Go to Deployment tab. Tap the checkbox. Uninstall this application when it falls out of the scope of management. We use this option to remove the application when it no longer applies to the computers. Click on Apply and OK to save the changes. That completes the GPO configuration for Google Chrome software deployment. Now close the Group Policy Editor. We have to link the software deployment GPO to the targeted OU. In this example, I'm targeting all computers in the India Marketing Computers OU to install Google Chrome. Expand India, India Marketing and click on India Marketing Computers. Right click the OU and select Link an existing GPO. From the list, select the Software Deployment GPO and click on OK. We have successfully linked the Software Deployment GPO to our OU. Under this OU, we have the computer account of Windows 10 client computer. So to see the result, let's go to our Windows 10 VM. Using the domain user Deepak Patel's account, we have already logged in to this Windows 10 device. The software will only install during a reboot and the computer must have its GPO settings updated. GPO settings will refresh automatically at every 90 minutes. To force the GPO settings, we can use the GP update slash force command. Open command prompt and then enter the GP update slash force command to ensure that the latest group policy settings are applied to the client computer. We can see the message, certain computer policies are enabled that can only run during startup. You will be asked to restart the computer to apply those policies successfully. You can type Y and hit enter key to restart this Windows 10 computer. After one minute, your system will restart automatically. Or you can also manually restart this Windows 10 computer from start menu. Let me close command prompt. Let's click on start menu, click on power button and click on restart to manually restart this Windows 10 computer. Remember, the software will be installed on reboot. Let's unlock the Windows 10 computer and sign in again using the Deepak Patel's user account. We can see the Google Chrome icon on the desktop and that confirms the software installation. Open run menu and type appvis.cpl and press enter key. From programs and features, we can also confirm that the Google Chrome has been installed successfully on this Windows 10 computer using group policy. In this video, we learn how to deploy Google Chrome using group policy. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.